good morning folks. Um, it's Sunday morning, it's about half seven and I'm back in the Arica Alps. I'm back on the banks of Loch Lomond here. That's Loch Lomond in the back, that's Ben Lomond in the background up there. And um, I'm back here because I'm going to be climbing this guy today, which is Ben Vorlich. And Ben Vorlich is the fourth Monroe that's up here in this area. And it's the uh, fourth one that I've still to do. Uh, ben Vorlich is 943 metres high. So I'm imagining it's going to take about four or five hours to try and get up there. There's a lot of snow in the house, so the landscape's really dramatically changed since I was last here. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. So I will see you further up the trail, okay? See you in a bit. This little cairn that you see here guys, this is what marks the start of the route up Ben Vorlich. So I came about two miles along the path there and uh, this is the Corba Aqua over here and behind me over here is Ben Vane which was the mountain that we were up last week and if you haven't seen that video check out because that is a fantastic little mountain, what an amazing, well it's Monroe, it's not little but it's an amazing climb and it's really worthwhile doing so this is the start of the path now, up Ben Vorlich. So, what can I tell you about Ben Vorlich? Apart from it's boggy at the beginning. Uh, ben Vorlich is the one of four Monroes that's up here in the Arica Alps, and it is the second highest. The highest being Ben Eam, which I've done, so you can check out the video for that one. And then after that, uh, it's Ben Narnen, and then it's and then it's Ben Ben Vain, which is the smallest before. View the Loch Sloy Dam over there, and I'm just finding my way back onto the path, which was really boggy for quite a bit there. But uh, clouds are kind of foggy, clouds have started to kind of creep in a wee bit. But it was actually snowing for about 30 40 seconds, quite heavy there before I put the GoPro on. But uh, We'll see what happens. It may clear up a bit. Crack on, but I'll tell you what, once you hit that cairn, you make really good quick progress up here. So I'll see you in a bit.
slog all the way up here. It's just constant up, 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 up. But we're nearly at the top of the high bulac, so keep cracking on, okay? See you in a bit. the top of the, the high Bila so I'm standing at about 800 meters about another 100 and, uh, 130 odds that would go but it's turned out to a complete winter wonderland so I'm gonna crack on okay not long at the top now let's go it's been a steady uphill climb this one but what's made it Harder is the depth of the snow. I mean, check it out. It's, you take, a, you take a wrong step and you're up to your knees. So that kind of saps your energy more than anything else. So anyway, time to crack on.